Hello everyone and welcome to another Green Marble and Green Narcissus crochet tutorial. I'm going to be posting this one on both channels because it's a little bit crafty as well as a little bit crochet. So that's what we're doing today. Um, yeah, so for this tutorial we're going to be making a just a, a basic sort of twine net with a mason jar candle holder that you can use to put in your courtyard or put inside your home. Either way, it's going to look really nice. Um, yeah, so we're just going to be doing that. For this project, I just got this basic sort of twine rope stuff from down at the local bazaar. So that's really good for this. And I'm going to be using a 4mm hook. And yeah, there's not much to say about it. It's going to be a very quick, very fun, very simple tutorial today. Yeah. Alright, so uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed but you would like to join me for some more fun, I would love to have you join me. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to the Green Narcissus channel, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, I have plenty more crafty, sort of DIY, fun projects on the way that I'm looking forward to get started on. Um, getting started on. I've been making a lot of resin stuff lately, so I've been doing that. Uh, resin crochet hooks, resin jewellery, um, and stuff like that. Yeah. So doing that, I don't really think there's much else to say. Uh, thank you to my patrons. I uh, thank you for your support. I love and appreciate you very much. And we should just get straight into making this uh, mason jar candle holder. Mm. All right. So I thought for this tutorial we could do it outside today because it's beautiful out here, and we can listen to the birds singing while we're doing our crochet. All right. So to begin this one, very simple. We find the end of our twine and we make a slip knot. But when you make a slip knot, don't make the tail end too long because you can just crochet that into the into the chain circle. And you put the double crochets in. So you're doing that, making a slip knot, then adjusting your knot to the hook, pull that tight. And we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Now you're going to slip stitch into the first chain. So back into that first chain, slip stitch, just like that. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to chain up two, and we're gonna be treating this chain two as a stitch. Well, yeah, we are. So we're gonna put in 11. 11 double crochets into the center of that chain circle. So yarn over, insert into the chain circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a double crochet. Let's do it again together. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to be doing 11 of those around into the chain circle. Okay, and there we have our 11 double crochets and our chain two. Now into the top of that chain two, so just push those aside if it's a bit tight, into the top of the chain two you're going to slip stitch to close this round. And that can get a little tight with this twine, but it's okay. So slip stitching into the top of the chain two. Hang on a second. The top chain of that chain two is a little bit tight. So oh, it's very different with twine, isn't it? Yes. All right, there we go. Slip stitching to close the round. All right. Now straight from here, what we're going to do is we're going to chain seven. So one, two three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to skip the next stitch along and put a single crochet. So we're not doing anything with that stitch that we've done the slip stitch into. Skipping that next chain, we're gonna put a single crochet, sorry, skipping that next stitch, single crochet into the second stitch along. So single crochet, chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then once again, skip the next stitch, 
single crochet into the second stitch along. So do that till you get to the end. I'll meet back up with you and we'll talk about where to go from there. Okay, now here I am at the end and this is what it's gonna to start to look like. I might angle the camera down a little so it's easier to see. So that's what that's gonna look like. Now, I've got one stitch left, but what we're gonna do from this chain seven, straight from this chain seven, we're gonna go into the chain space of seven from the beginning and we're gonna single crochet into that chain space just like this Oop. yes just like this and that's how we're doing it now from here we chain seven so one two three four five six seven and single crochet into the next chain space along and we're going to be doing this and this is how you grow the nets one two three four five six, seven, and you continue doing this until you get, say, maybe ten rows up of these chains, and that's all, and until it sort of covers the mason jar when you put it inside. So this is what it, that looks like. But I'll show you at the end anyway. We'll see at the end what that looks like. Um, so yeah, that's what you're doing. Chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and single crochet into the next chain space along. So very, very easy. Like I said, this is going to be a quick one. Um, and once you finish that, once you've done your 10 rows, we're going to meet back up and I'll show you what I do to finish it. And once again, that's going to be really, really easy. So I'll see you soon. All right, now that I've completed 10 rows of the net, I'm going to just chain 14, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and I'm going to count three, well, including this one, no, including this one, one, two, three, so three chains over, turn it around, and just slip stitch. So this is for the handle. Slip stitch into that chain space, just like that. Pull it tight, then yarn over, pull through, get your scissors, which are my just big crafty scissors here at the moment. Trim that yarn. Pull it through the loop to tie off, pull it tight. And then there's the handle, so that's like that. I'll show it to you later. When it's dark, I'll hang it on the courtyard wall and we can see what it's like with a candle inside, which is really nice. I'm just using these little electric candles. Mm, sorry, it's very loud. Just these little battery-powered candles. They're really good. Um, so yeah, and you can just weave this through one of the chains. So to do that, I just get a little hook weave it through but yeah that's just how you make this and there's the net and obviously you put the jar inside so let's just get that jar and put it inside this there we go. yep there we go jar goes inside just like that and push it through to the end there's the bottom that looks really cool. I love that. Alright, so that's how that is. And there we go. There is your mason jar net twine candle holder that you can hang in the courtyard, which we will see later. Alright, so we've done that. Lovely. Okay, so I'll see you later and we'll try it out. Alright, so here it is, all finished. I found the brightest spot in the courtyard that I could to show you in the dark. But yeah, that's what that's going to look like. I've made a couple of others to sort of hang around. So yeah, just really, really quick, really basic tutorial. I really love the way these have turned out. They make it look really cosy, you know? Alright, so yes, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give it a like. And if you would like to subscribe to join me for some more tutorials, I would love to have you join me. And thanks for watching.